Hey, how's everybody doing? Yeah. Right. You may have heard the expression, when you fail to plan, you plan to fail. I just plan to fail. It's easier that way. <laughs> I lost my mom when I was 18. Sometimes I still envy people that have their mothers. Uh, some of them say they envy me. <laughs> My father was a violent rageaholic. He left home when I was eight. The good news is, he never came back. <laughs> he left because he started collecting social security, which saved me from social insecurity. He was nice enough to give me something before he left. PTSD. <laughs> I have low-grade chronic depression. If I study hard, I hope to improve my score. <laughs> I also have social anxiety disorder. It's the fear that if I take up public speaking, the public at large will stop speaking to me. <laughs> so, what the hell am I doing up here? I want for a cure. <laughs> I haven't had any luck taking antidepressants. Maybe they would have worked better if I had taken them orally instead of rectally. <laughs> <laughs> a year ago, my partner and her three teenagers moved in with me, and it was quite an adjustment after living alone for four years. There were certain things I couldn't do much anymore, like enjoy peace and quiet, reading a good book, or walking around the house naked. <laughs> well, I could have, but it would have taken years of therapy for them to recover. <laughs> the teenagers and I actually have quite a lot in common. Mood swings, irritability, and forgetfulness. I didn't know better, I think they were going through menopause too. <laughs> <laughs> With menopause, some women experience hot flashes. I have Chernobyl-like meltdowns. <laughs> They're so intense that I'm concerned I may be contributing to global warming. I'll feel guilty if this winter I melt all the snow off Bogus Basin. <laughs> Growing up, it wasn't good enough for me to be the black sheep of the family. I had to be the rainbow sheep of the family. <laughs> that way, I was sure to offend everyone. <laughs> I have really good gaydar. I can spot another gay person from a mile away. So far, I've seen two in the state of Idaho. <laughs> Someday, gay marriage will be legal in all 50 states. <laughs> if Idaho hasn't seceded from the Union by then. <laughs> they may secede rather than succumb to all the gay propaganda as opposed to the conservative agenda. It's all right to hate the right people. You just can't love the wrong people. <laughs> Finally, the majority of people in the U.S. think that gay people should be allowed to marry. They want us to have the opportunity to suffer, just like everybody else. <laughs> I've learned something from romantic relationships. It's easy to love someone unconditionally when you haven't known them long enough to figure out what you really don't like about them. <laughs> the hard part is to keep loving them after you realize they're human too, just like you. Thank you.